Look at that Loch Ness monster. Oh my gosh, dude. Alright, okay, so we're gonna feed the salt shells today and talk about a few things. That's pretty much it. But yeah, we're gonna feed the salt shells some live food today. Um, I mainly have just been feeding them, you know, shrimp, tilapia, pellets, you know, the usual stuff. But today we're gonna feed them some rosy reds. I have some extra ones in here in the exotic pond that they have not eaten yet. I'm gonna get about five to six to seven of them, something like that. Throw them in there and yeah, just uh, it'll be a treat, you know, something different for these guys. Very, very good swimmer, so I know they'll be able to catch them, and, uh, you know, I'm sure they'll like it, too, because it'll be something different. But also, something came in the mail today, so we're going to talk about that as well, and also get it out and install it. But someone is ready to be fed, and uh, I don't know where the big one's at. Oh, wait, there he is. Yep, right there. That guy will come out as soon as I put the minnows in there. So we're going to get them out. You can see all of them kind of darting around over there. Get about five to seven of them out. Put them in there, and these guys are going to have themselves a treat. All right, now, even though there's a lot in here, this is like a big pond, so it's not going to be very easy trying to get these guys, because look what they do. They just scatter like that, so I'm just going to kind of like swoop in there. Okay, we got one. And then just put them in there, and uh, yeah, we're going to get some more out. All right, so we've got about seven, eight of them, something like that, so I'm going to get them all back in the net and put them in there at the same time. Let's do it. All right. And there they go. All right, here we go. Now, I'm not so sure that the little one weed them, but I know for sure that that big one was. So I'm just going to stand back for a few minutes and wait for them to come out and go after them. Oh, we got one. Look at that. The little one got one. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at that guy. Just ran off with him. He's back here in the back. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. The big one's still hiding because I'm still out here talking, but look at that just destroyed him dude oh my goodness look at that he is off with him and there's the big one right there that's him but this dude look at that he's gonna have to turn him head first to really be able to get him like swallow him that's why he's running back and forth on the glass because he's trying to push him a certain way fish will actually do this too but that is exactly what he's doing. He's trying to get him to turn a certain way, but doesn't want to let go of him. Look at him. That's the big one right there. He's peeping his head out the sand right now. He's about to come storming out of that sand after one. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's going after him. He's going after him. Oh, my gosh. Just destroyed him. Dude, he made that look so easy. The little one had to chase him around everywhere. The big one just went right up to one and just grabbed him. Look at that. Gone. That is wild. He's about to go get another, another one now. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that guy. Oh, oh, it's coming up, coming up. Now I know for sure that he sees me, but he's in hunting mode now and does not care. Look at that. Look at this, the little one's still got his in his mouth. He is not going to let go of that. Oh, the oh, big one just got another one. I didn't even see him get it. He just got another one. Oh, oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. Oh, he just did miss him. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh, got it. Dude, he is a freaking machine. Look at him. They are both eating one right now. That guy's that guy on his third or fourth, and he is still on his first one. That is crazy. Look at him. He is not letting go of him, though, but that big one is just going ham on these minnows. Well, there are two minnows left, those two right there, and I think I put eight in there. So these guys have now eaten six of them. Okay, he just got finished with that one. And he's about to come out and get those other two, I bet. Watch him. Look at that Loch Ness monster. Oh my gosh, dude. Did you see that? He was going the other way and just turned around and just got him. Just unreal. I mean, that is crazy looking. And now he's back there just destroying him. He's gone. Yeah, he's, he's gone. He's going to go get that last one now. Right there. He is the last one. He's about to come out there and get him. Oh, wait. There's another one. Look at this. He's still eating the other one. He's about to get the last one. Oh my goodness, dude. Are you kidding me? This guy is like, has a problem. Oh, he got away. He got away. Look at this. He got away. Oh my gosh. He just confused him. Look. Somehow that minnow slipped in between the rocks over there. And the salt show can't find him. He's looking for him. That is crazy, dude. That minnow legit just escaped. But when he, oh, he's digging now, he's digging, he's, he's burying himself now. Well, in the meantime, the little one got done with his, look at him. He's looking for some more. Now, he might end up getting him, he's getting pretty close to him. He might end up getting the last one, honestly. Oh, just 
he just got a little remain right there of one on the bottom guys i've been standing here for about five minutes now and this little minnow is still swimming around these saw shells have still not gotten him yet it's just crazy so what i think i'm gonna do um i think i'm just gonna leave him in there for now because it might be honestly an hour or so before they end up getting him because the big one has gotten so full that he just went up underneath the sand and he's just gonna chill there for a little while and i mean that's what he does until he comes back out when he's hungry but eventually they will get that minute i promise you okay so i would definitely say that they absolutely love them you know definitely good to kind of switch it every once so i'll feed them something a little bit different but what came in the mail well this is what i've been trying to get now for weeks and uh, finally i just said you know what i'm just gonna order one so it's a UV bulb, but not just any UV bulb, a 5 watt UV bulb, which seems to be like what no store has. Yeah, a lot of stores had the 9 watts, but didn't have the 5 watts, which is what my filter needs. So, finally just ordered one, and uh, yeah, I got it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to install this in my pond filter over there and get it back, you know, looking crystal clear how it should be. But this right here is actually what the bulb goes into, and then this right here is what goes into the filter. You see, the water actually never touches the bulb. It just goes around it while it's in the side of the sock right here. Okay, so there's one of the screws right there, but, um... I can't find the other one. I know it's here. It, it's here somewhere. Well, I'm gonna look in between these little cracks right here and see if I see it. I know you guys see it. Yup, that's it right there. I, I know you see it. There it is right there. I've got to get that screw. But that's the problem. How am I gonna get it? You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this. How am I going to get that? Well, I guess I could do one thing. Just go and put the bulb in the little socket thing and uh, yeah, just see if I can find another screw because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get that one. Boom, look at that. Perfect. And just slide that back over top of it. Ooh, look at that. Now, ready to go back in the filter, except we don't have another screw. Okay, so there's the filter right there. Got to cut it off, get it out, put the UV back in there, and uh, yeah, you can see why we need it. You can see how big of a help it really is, because this pond is normally crystal clear, but now it's green, and the fish are totally fine. I mean, they absolutely love it like this, but I don't because, you know, I can't see to the dang bottom. So I'm going to get the filter out and put the UV back in there. Whoa there, buddy. Dude, why would this not come out? Dude, are you fr- Wait a minute. I don't even have to, like, get this out. I'm such an idiot. I'm such an idiot. Okay, so, yeah, there we go. Dude, guess what? I don't even need the freaking screws, dude. Are you kidding me? I don't even need them. Boom! Let's put it back in the pond. And there we go. It's just back in there, and it should start clearing up here within about a day or two, and it should be back to crystal clear, because when I first got this filter, the pond was, like, completely green, like, greener than this, and it only took it about a whole entire day for it to be crystal clear. It was pretty amazing. So I'm going to come back out here tomorrow and check on it then, and hopefully it is crystal clear by then, or almost there, and uh, we can get our three baby butterfly cord this weekend for the pond. So the Oscar and the Jack Dempsey have been doing very, very good together. The Jack Dempsey has been know what territory we at all uh he's been a little bit just a little bit and you guys actually got to see in the video him just kind of mouthing at him when he was around his log which i figured that other than that though he's been very very peaceful and very good with him so you can see him right over there and the oscar right here doing really really good hasn't eaten yet but you know it takes it can take an oscar a few days to really settle into a tank uh so it's not so really surprising me that it's taken him a little bit but hopefully by tomorrow or the next day that guy will be eating by then but yeah he is he is doing really good in here, no doubt about that. And hey, look at this. Clean the solder tank up quite a bit. See all that hard algae that was back there on the sides? And I scraped just about all of that off. And believe me, it took a while to do that. It was the same hard stuff to get off the glass. But yeah, also moved the conch back out here to the front. He was just kind of chilling in the back back there. So I just kind of picked him up and just moved him out here to the front because uh, the dino was starting to come back out here. And as you can see, that guy is a really, really big help too. You can see him right there eating away at it and uh yeah it just completely vacuums it all up now one thing i'm thinking about doing is actually taking him back and getting one that's smaller because i really do not need one that's this big you know he's a really good help to the tank and all the only problem is is that they produced a, a lot of waste they produce a ton of waste in the tank that's the only downside to him. So I might end up taking this guy back and just getting, you know, a smaller one. Because I really don't need one this size anyways. But yeah, he's a really, really cool addition to the tank. But the snowstorm is doing really, really good up here. You can see my frostbite. Uh, it's been, you know, pretty good to him. Uh, the snowstorm is really starting to eat some bigger pieces now. So yeah, that guy is doing really, really good in here. And looking great too. And also the killifish tank. I think what I'm going to add to this tank though, along with the killifish, 
is some Celestial Pearl Danios. Now, I actually have some regular Pearl Danios, but I'm going to get some of these Celestial Pearl Danios. It's a fish that I've always wanted to keep, and I think this would be a really, really good tank from They show up really, really well in here, too. So I think I'm going to order about six of those guys, and that will be the new addition to this tank. But that is going to be pretty much it for now. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like on the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Let me know any other kind of videos that you guys want me to do. But anyways, guys, with that being said, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.